baby in any in any part. He could put a baby in my stomach, you know? Like say Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> but right. I don't know. Because even when John the Baptist was going around and he was like baptizing people, he was saying like, I'll baptize you like with this water, but there's one that's gonna come after me and baptize you like with the Holy Spirit. Like, I can't do what he does. Like Then chapters four through seven is where he announces God's kingdom. Matthew five through seven is where he gave his sermon on the mountain, where he talked about anger, sexual sin, divorce, uh, loving your enemies. Then in Matthew 8 through 10, he taught, he brings kingdom to the life of people. That's when he was doing all the healing. Matthew 11 through 13 is all the responses of Jesus. So like everybody, it was like some people were messing with him, some people were accepting him, some people weren't. Parable of the wheat and the weeds. Oh, it said the field is the world. The good seed is the people of the kingdom. The weeds are the people who belong to the devil. Um, the enemy who planted the weeds is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world and the harvesters is the angel. Heavenly Father, as we embark on this Bible study and we open up to your word, we ask that you provide us with discernment and understanding. Lord Jesus, as we open to your word, I just pray that you protect our minds, our hearts, and our spirits as we move and cast away the devil and the enemies and the evil spirits that are not from you in the name of Jesus. Please give us understanding and allow us to focus on your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. In the time of her king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to their priestly division. He could not speak to them. They realized he had seen a vision in the temple for he kept on sides to them, but remained unable to speak. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. I have written to you who are young in faith because you are strong. God's word lives in your hearts and you have won your battle with the evil one oh my we God. have won our battle no for real this world do not love this world nor the things it offers you for when you love the world you do not have the love of the father in you for the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure a craving for everything we see and pride in our achievements and possessions these are not from the father but are from this world <laughs> And this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. I mean, that's a, that's a flash card. Don't worry. Yo, Amira, when I wrote this down, when, when I first started, I felt so convicted. Yo, that's a good one. Anyone who do what God pleases will live forever. Hey, y'all. What is up? So, it's a little late right now. It's like 9 o'clock. I did start the vlog off a little late because I had so much to do today. I had to, um, what else? That's actually a lot. I had to make sure the vlog that y'all just seen was up and edited. And I had started it last night, but I finished it this morning. And that was like two hours plus of footage that I got done. Um, what else did I do? I did some business stuff. I did a lot of like Bible studying. And as y'all see, me and Janae just finished our Bible study, which was such a good session, y'all. Like... I highly recommend y'all get into y'all word, okay? Because it is life-changing for real. There's so much things that we do that has like been normalized that when you read your word, you're like, wow, I can't believe that this is something that we're not supposed to do because of how much it's pushed, you know? But anyway, it's like nine o'clock. I was gonna make me some ice cream and cookies, but I said, no, I'm gonna be good, okay? I'm gonna just wait until... Um, the night before I go back to work. So maybe on Wednesday, I'll do some ice cream and cookie, like a little dessert night. But it's 9 o'clock. I'm about to just go lay down, watch a little show, and relax. And then, um, what you gonna call it? And then tomorrow, I do want to work out. And I'll just, we'll, I'll let you guys know everything that I'm going to do tomorrow, tomorrow. But for right now, I'm going to go relax. I'm going to go lay down. And then, yeah. 
I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow back, babes. And I need to redo my hair. My hair is looking a little ugh later. So why did I sit here and do my home morning routine, did my skincare, um, I took my vitamins, my master one, um, master one, my only one master tonic and um, I did everything, you know, the things that I normally do when I show you my morning routine, praise, worship, read the Bible, etc, etc. Yeah, I was about to go take a walk and I just laid right back down. I don't know what it is like I'm, I'm I don't know like I haven't even really been outside these last two days I didn't go outside yesterday because I had to edit today I don't know what it is yeah I don't know I don't know if I'm going outside today honey I don't know I don't know I just be cooped up in this place chilling living my best life but i don't know like i want to go to a workout salad court doesn't have any time so i'm on the wait list for one of the classes like i put it i put for class pass to notify me um when there's a class available i wanted to try like soul cycle but the soul cycle near me is like taylor swift themed and i'm just very tired of always being the only black girl in any of my workout classes like it just makes me a little bit uncomfortable if i'm just gonna be completely honest but anyway i must just eat something <laughs> We're gonna try this again maybe later. Okay, let me let me go eat something, watch a, a show, relax as I've been relaxing all morning for real. But um I'm gonna have those playlists, the gospel playlist, whether you're a Spotify girly or Apple Music girly. I will have a link down below. But unfortunately, my Apple Music playlist is much better. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all because I use Apple Music the most. Spotify is what I use like here and there on my iPad or something, but I'm still trying to like make sure the songs are you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same songs on each one so that you're not missing out on one or the other. But, um, yeah, right now I'm about to just go lay down, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all maybe later when I figure out what I'm about to do with myself. But I'm probably going to make me some soup and just lay down because I really don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like doing anything. So. And shout-outs to the topical gloss. And shout-outs shout -out, shout -out to the topical gloss. <laughs> What is up, brat babes? Welcome back to another vlog, you vlog, you vlog, vlog, vlog. We are about to actually do a coaching call right now. It's like 11.50. I have a coaching call with somebody coming up at 12 o'clock. One of my brat babes booked a call. And if you don't know, now you know your girl does do coaching calls. I do coaching calls for um, aspiring nurses, travel nurses. The link will be down below if you want to... Um, you know book a call with me um, i will be giving you guys more details on the coaching calls things that i offer and i hope you guys will be interested but somebody booked so i'm super excited to speak with her today i spent a lot of my morning kind of just like doing notes and everything like that for her which i'm about to like touch up right now and just like put some checkpoints of things that I want to talk to her about. So I'm about to just do that. We're going to talk with her. I'm not going to record too much of it because I do like coaching calls to be like confidential. Everything that's talked about does not need to be like, you know, blasted. But yeah, I'm about to go speak. I'm going to come back and update y'all soon. But after this, I want to go downstairs and get like a really good workout in because I missed my 7 a.m. solid court class, y'all. But that's a conversation for another day. <laughs> okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm about to go speak to her real quick. Um, it's going to be an hour long. I'm going to work out. May, may even go run some errands, get some food. Or maybe go get some groceries and cook. I don't know. We'll see. And I'll speak to y'all later. Hey, you hear me? Hi. 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 Is that how you say your name? Yeah, that's how you say it. <laughs> so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. You're so beautiful. Oh my gosh, stop. That is all you. How come like muffling in your background? It's kind of like, I don't know, it sounds like cracking. Hey, so I'm so excited to be doing this call with you. Thank you for I booking know. and trusting me. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I've been, I told you, I've been wanting to book it for a while. I've been so nervous, but I'm just like, why? Like, right. Because you're so relatable and you're just so like, oh, thank you. Just, Tell me a little bit about you, like your business and what you're doing and what you're trying to do. I'm gonna be typing okay. and writing it down while you're talking to me, okay? You can attest this because I hear you say it all the time. If you're not in nursing, you just don't understand what we go through. Right. Yeah. You gotta pay the My mom always says, <laughs> She's right. She's right. You can live nowhere 
no, do nothing for free. It is, it's, it's not fair. You can get the hell up and you go to work just like I do. Mm -hmm. It's not cool. That's not cool to ask nobody. That's why I told my, you know, my friend. I'm like, well, what's the difference of me paying her time and her knowledge and she, you can see, you know, her platforms and how hard she's worked in her engagement. I'm just like, we gotta, we gotta stop doing that amongst each other. We gotta stop feeling entitled because we got the same color of skin. That's it. <laughs> you did that, that spoke to the heart of who you were. And I was like, okay, I made, I made the right decision. Mm -hmm. I see why you gave me this vision for her. Because not a lot of people, people don't understand that when it comes to nursing, it's a gated community, but it's also not as much of a camaraderie as people. Right, it's man. Like, so for you to say, um, keep going, girl. Yeah. Because I was there, and it hurts right now. Yeah. But it's gonna be better. Yeah. Oh, because it gets better. Yeah. That video, girl. When I said, when I saw her reaction, it had me crying. It had me in it's tears. Me crying to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just, and I'm just looking at her. I'm like, yo, I know how she feels because I'm. That's how, it's hard. That's why I go so hard for my supporters because I've been there. And when I was there, when I was in nursing school, we didn't have no TikTok, no Instagram. We didn't have these platforms where you can look up to people or have inspiration. I was just in it. Yeah, register nurse RN on YouTube. Thank you. That was that's all. That was my girl. But that's why, like, I just when I get on social media, it has nothing to do with the money. The money for me is just a plus, you know. Like, it's just a, an addition. I'm doing this for to motivate the girls to be an inspiration to do things that I like. I feel like God put me through that horrible experience in nursing school to be right here where I am because I would have never imagined me doing social media in my life like honestly I don't know why, you got the personality get it <laughs> you're, so you're so even with Morgan like you guys are so re relatable and um, mm -hmm. let me kudos to both of y'all on how y'all handled that situation if, if you can really show behind those POVs how you get spit on because see I don't think they understand too as nurses we're taking everything and we're making a joke out of it yes I see a meme where it says, help me nurse this up, but you ain't see this man just punch me in my face. Yep. Spit on yep. me. Yep. Or nothing yep. like that. And then I still gotta keep my composure to take care of this. Yep. Instead of, you know, like I'm booking this call because you saying, listen, I admire what you do. Can you kind of teach me the first thing is, oh, she did she this, and oh, she did she that. Yeah, that's I how it comes. Yeah, I hate that about her. Mm-hmm. I hate that about mm -hmm. her. Very telling of them, of their character. And just like it says in the Bible, what comes out of your mouth, it defines your heart. Pull up 
kuma take cassette But put it wider than a internet I'm a presidential if you will suffer to lose Goody goody, get your goody goody bam bam I need you now now, put me on fire like in London Can you take so diva here? What's up, Brat Babe? Yesterday was like a very slow yet productive day because I had a um, a coaching call. That coaching call went great, you guys. It was like, it was so good. Um, oh my gosh, like I, I don't even have no words for it. It was so good, but then after I got off the coaching call, I was gonna go like work out and stuff like that. I didn't really end up doing nothing. I ended up going laying back in bed. But this morning, as y'all can see, I woke up early, went to the gym. I um, ran errands. Like, I went to Whole Foods for groceries because, like, I'm trying to do this thing this week where I do not eat out at all. I didn't even do download Uber Eats on my new phone. Like, I'm not eating out this week. So, um, what you want to call it? Yeah, so I'm not eating out. So, I'm cooking actually right now. Yeah, so I cook breakfast. I just literally made my green juice, as y'all see. Very important to have one green juice a day. And then what am I doing right now? I'm just making some chicken and some rice. The chicken is in the oven, the rice is on the stove. That's gonna be my dinner. I ate this morning around like 9, 10 a.m. It's almost six o'clock, so I'm hoping the food is done before seven because I know I don't really eat after seven. And then yeah, we're gonna just keep repeating this. I haven't really been doing nothing. I haven't really been going nowhere. That's probably why I've been a little bit discouraged from vlogging because I just feel like, I don't want my vlogs to be boring. I don't want y'all to feel like Y'all are just watching me or listening to me talk or I'm not like, you know, like I just want my vlogs to be like fun, you know, I want it to, to be fun for y'all and if I'm not doing nothing, sometimes I just don't be feeling like vlogging or I don't want to because I feel like I can't be as creative because I'm always home, but I think that's just something I have to work on, maybe like learning to still be creative while being home. You know, because in this season of like getting closer to God, which is something I will talk to you guys about later on in the vlog, just getting closer to God, the things that I've been learning and the way outside is so expensive, home is the place to be. <laughs> and don't mind this, y'all. I got a pimple. I literally got a pimple right here in the middle, literally. And it's a pimple that's like, it feels like it's on your bone. Like it don't even feel like a real pimple. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm just trying to find that balance in between being home and and like vlogging and being creative. I was just actually telling Janae I may start even doing a lot more like solo dates. But right now I'm just in a season where I'm just like just trying to better myself mentally, physically, in every way. And as y'all do know, I'm moving soon. And once I move and I am settled in in my new place, that's when we will have an actual consistent posting schedule. I want to do two videos a week, maybe like a Sunday and a Wednesday. We're gonna see. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, y'all, I have my green juice here, making dinner. I'm about to drink my master tonic. Tomorrow we're gonna do the same thing. We up early, gym. And yeah, because I was actually really tired of riding away in bed, y'all. Like, it just does not, it feels good for the moment, but then once you wake up, probably the next day, or even later on in the day, you're like, you literally just let the day go to waste by just laying down. Don't get me wrong, though. I do do work when I'm laying down. I could do, honestly, everything laying down. <laughs> I could do anything laying down, y'all. I love laying down. I want to be a laying down. I would do my work laying down. I'll do my Bible study laying down. I'll do everything laying down. Cheers. Let's take our master tonic. I'm gonna take two because I didn't take one this morning. Ooh. Yeah. So I took that. I'm also gonna take my vitamins. And ooh, it's a little spicy. And how are y'all loving the new camera? I hope y'all loving it because I'm loving it. I'm loving the quality. I'm loving how much clearer it is. I'm loving how it focuses. I can't wait to get in my new place and really like really test the focus with like my vanity. I'm so excited to move and just get a brand new setup and just really elevate my content the way I really want to, you know, because it's kind of hard to do that here with the way like it was decorated and stuff. But now that I know the type of place that I want and have envisioned, I can decorate it so much nicely. But I may not give you guys a tour, but I will definitely do videos where like I show you guys how I'm decorating, the things that I buy. We'll do like even an Amazon video, all the things. But for now, I'm just waiting for dinner to finish. Let me show y'all. Okay. Here's the rice. It's still... The rice is still shimmering. But we got some red beans and rice, some rice and peas. We're just gonna leave that to cover. I'm gonna leave it on like two. And then we got some chicken here. Ooh, it smells so good. 
Oh, shoot. It's only like six pieces. Really not a lot of chicken. But now, I think I had it uh, covered for like 45 minutes. Now I'm going to leave it uncovered, poke some holes. Because I like to leave the aluminum foil on for a little bit. Because I feel like once the aluminum foil is on, it allows the inside to cook much better. And now it's just going to like thicken all of this sauce and just make for a really good chicken. And I'm going to eat this with like some salad. I bought some romaine lettuce. I'm just going to cut it up and I have some, um, what you want to call it? And I have some like dressing from Trader Joe's that I'm gonna put with it. But this is gonna be a nice little meal. I'll come back soon and show you guys the finished product of the food once it's done. Right now I'm just cleaning up the kitchen because one thing about me, I clean as I go. What about you? All right, y'all, look at this plate. Oh my, oh gosh. You know, God's still working on me, all right? But look, y'all, this is the chicken with some rice and peas. I know y'all gonna probably be like, where's the salad dressing? But because I already have the sauce on the chicken, I am not putting salad dressing on it. This is just to save me some calories. So we just gonna eat dinner like this tonight. I got my water. I didn't finish my green juice in time because I literally have like four or five minutes to like eat this before seven o'clock comes. But yeah, this week I'm really challenging myself to not eat out. Like it's really not conducive to my, to where I wanna be with my body by May. Like I really just want to I don't know, I just, I just wanna look different, I wanna be different, but in order to have different, you gotta do different. You know, like, I cannot keep just eating out, ordering, and choosing convenience. Like, I do need to, like, cook, and not for nothing, the food that I cook is so much better than the food that I be ordering. Like, this food is gonna be so much better than Popeyes and whatever the case, but anyway, y'all, let me stop rambling because I only got a few minutes to eat, so. I'm gonna let my camera charge a little bit. It's real dark in here, sorry y'all. I'm gonna let my camera charge, then I'm gonna hit y'all back up when it's time for Bible study. Good morning vlog. So, it's the next day. Um, Bible study did not happen last night because I got super tired after I ate and laid down, y'all. I just wanted to watch Power and go to sleep because one thing me and Janae do is we do our Bible study separately. Like, we'll be in our word on our own. So when we come together for a Bible study, it's kind of like a second session in a way. So I got real tired. <laughs> I got tired and yeah, we did not do it. But today we are going to be doing Bible study a little earlier because um, once it hit like eight, nine o'clock, baby, count me out. Count me out. So yeah, we're gonna do that early today. It is around, it's 9.29 right now. I did wake up early actually, y'all. I woke up at like five something, but I'm going to be working out downstairs. So I didn't like get up and work out, which I really should have. Because every time I work out later than like five, six, I truly just feel like um, I start to get very hungry. Then it's like I wanna eat, but I'm not even gonna do it to myself. I'm gonna go work out. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I wanna get this brioche bread. Even though I have the little dinner buns, I wanna get the actual bread. I know Janae uses it to make French toast. So I'm gonna use that for my breakfast sandwich this morning. And then I wanna get some burrito pizza and I wanna get some deli meat so that I could make a sandwich. Because I don't know if what I'm gonna make for lunch. I still have the food from yesterday for dinner. But for lunch, it's either I'm gonna make burrito pizza or um, the I wanna make like a grinder sandwich. I saw somebody make it on TikTok and it's making me hungry. But it's like, I don't know. Because I really don't like the, a lot of the stuff that they put in the thing. I'm just probably going to make my own mixture. We're going to see. But right now, I'm about to go to the gym. We're going to work out. And then, yeah, we're going to see what else happens. But I am getting very hungry, but I'm trying not to eat out. Yesterday was very successful. I'm going to do it again today and tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, when I come back, we'll do the Master Tonic. We'll take the vitamins and all the things. Just going to get ready to go. Got my water. So, let's go. Tears falling in my bitch face. Now she forever trying to show me how that shit tastes. Ain't really been dropping, I've been trying to get my shit straight. Had to set my prices, 20 mil for I ain't mixtape. Party in ain't night, don't do it for me, I'm trying to get cake. Level up, filling hundreds up all in my big safe. I said enough, I said it again, I'm trying to wet them up. Thinking with his dick, I'm getting a pretty bitch to set him up. It's better them than better us, never than forever us. And every M I ever touched, I multiplied it, doubled up. 
I know life man, shit, I divide to see my brother up Some got in they feelings deep inside, but never bring it up And all I did was fuck shit up I told niggas that these hoes ain't got no love for us I told niggas that these rappers don't really fuck with us The wave is all they want from us, like it's made for only one of us I'm straight on all that up stuff, for real I know hanging deep off in the trench will get me killed But I get a rush from it, love the way it feel Hang around the vultures, knowing this rich cost a meal Hold up, let me take the wheel Said pay the cost to be the boss, so I expect to pay the bill Said I expect to do some favors, but I expect to keep it real And I'm expecting them to hate me, where I shine the shit for real But I ain't respecting niggas, falling by no money or no girls I'm giving Bad bitch spaces, I got money out this world and I be shining like a star on top of that They know I'm third, my niggas, lock behind them bars on top of that I'm paying bills, I'm paying the pills for all my niggas that got life inside themselves They know I will, I'm breaking bread with Billy Boys, they know my heart is pure You reach and I start drunk, cause I know the art of war I know that they ain't on the shit we on and that's for sure I'm knowing that for sure You ain't talking about no money when you talking I'm like what you talking for Y'all so I just finished my workout Oh my gosh I feel so good right now Um I feel so good like This is how I felt when I did my weight loss journey Back in 2020 when I was in the gym Like the gym just it just It's like therapy at this point Like I actually look forward to it I really enjoy going to the gym um, Like I told y'all I'm not doing like Pilates Or solid core I know I, I cancelled my class pass Pilates membership everything Cause I just really want to focus on what works for me And I know that when I was doing this uh, a few years ago, it was strength training all the way, 100% lifting weights, lifting heavy, doing cardio. I only do cardio on my upper body days, but it still feels good even though I'm working. When I lost weight before, I was only um, in nursing school. I wasn't working at all, so I had a lot of time, and I would work out like six days a week. Now that I'm working, I have four days that I'm going to work out. It's non-negotiable, and then... Two will be lower body, two will be upper upper body, and then maybe like one day, like after my third day of work, like that third, that three out of three, I was thinking just making that maybe like a cardio day or like just doing like a quick workout for like a full body thing. I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel, but right now it's just to be super realistic. It'll be four days a week, intermittent fasting, lots of water, and I literally am not eating out anymore. Well, I, let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> why am I dragging it I am going to try okay but I don't even want to say try because I feel like that's selling myself short like I'm, I just don't want to do it anymore I don't get me wrong I am going to treat myself every now and then but for the most part I just want to make sure I'm cooking all of my meals and I'm not undoing what I did in the gym you know but also on this journey I have Janae on this exact same journey with me and Melody too because Melody is on her fitness journey she's actually been very consistent Melody has been consistent with her weight loss journey all year last year even up until now and she's in Vegas right now I couldn't go because I told y'all I was gonna be doing two jobs so my schedule was kind of a little all over the place and like it didn't work out and then I stopped the job last minute and then it was too late for me to go with her but she's out there with her other friend so when she comes back we're gonna be doing something I believe we're gonna be going to Dallas for a weekend coming up very soon and then after that y'all I don't know how my schedule is going to be with posting because I am going to be moving as y'all know um yeah moving is going to be real I don't know like I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because I'm trying to if I am only taking the products my products with me and my clothes um so I'm not taking like the furniture I don't want the furniture I just want all new furniture all new stuff but I just want to take my stuff so I'm trying to find a way to get my stuff in boxes like where do I even get boxes from I may have to um find movers that's what I was thinking like for them to come and get the stuff like pack up the stuff and then bring it to the new place and it honestly shouldn't be much but that's what I'm gonna pay for just for the convenience so I don't have to worry about packing stuff up or anything like that I'm really only taking the stuff in my closet just my clothes and my products for real that's it once I get settled in my new place we are going to be doing a sit down video where we talk about everything that has been happening in my life lately because it's just been so much and when I tell y'all what I've been going through and y'all realize that I was still creating content still running businesses and doing all of this through what I was going through y'all gonna be like whoa <laughs> but I can't wait to just tell y'all everything but one thing about me I'm always gonna turn lemons into lemonade okay anything that I go through I always apply that pain that pressure into my goals <laughs> listen let's say i ain't gonna say too much okay but yeah on this journey with like getting closer to god i can honestly say he's just been showing me so much and i'll be sure is a mighty god for real because god could see the life that you're living and just be like oh now you want to come back bye 
like how a lot of us do when we hold resentment hold grudges don't want to forgive but god is not like that like he is just such a mighty god i love him so much i can't wait to just take a shower eat some breakfast and do bible study but yeah like i said i'm trying to just make being home a little fun for y'all because i really do not be doing nothing like i don't do nothing and now that i'm on this journey we're getting closer to god it's like what am i really gonna do like the things that i used to do i don't want to do no more like i don't want to be in the clubs even though i was really in the clubs anyway but yeah i just have to find new things to do by the end of 2024 when i tell y'all bbl allegations are going to be going around just mark my words y'all this is what today is february 6th Today is Thursday, February 6th. Mark my words, in December, the girls are going to say that Amira, Nurse Brad, got a BBL. That's what they're going to say. That's what they're going to say because, y'all, if y'all knew my shape under what's going on under here, it's T. It's always been T. So once I, you know, get rid of all of this stuff that's covering it, y'all going to be like, oh, she got her body done. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with surgery. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't want it. Even my mom was at telling me, trying to convince me to get like a breast reduction. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't know. It just doesn't sit right with me. And yeah, I just don't want it. I'm doing this the natural way. Me personally, I know what I got under this. And I'm going to show you. <laughs> okay, don't say I didn't warn you. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, what time is it? It's 1048. I'm going to just go take a quick shower um, so that I could eat because I'm starving, y'all. And I'm forced to let you go That's for spreading thin on us too Hate to see you lose control Now I must spend all my time Thinking of all your lies and cover I'm switching up on everyone who loves you But that doesn't stop the show I think you should know that, baby, the reason You always think the only one who needs me Attention if you don't think so Conceded, hope you learn honesty Was the only thing that could keep me from leaving Baby, the reason You always think the only one who needs me Attention if you I could watch it rain for so long, it ain't hit no thunder Now we let all our Hollywood dreams and then a blunder I may never see you again, I hate when the summer ends But it always would, and you'd always be disappointed Cause you're insecure, chasing things you thought you wanted Like you thought you could just get further away from it And if Hollywood is home now It's just a house that is haunted Where I spend all my time Thinking of all your lies and colors You're switching up on everyone who loves you But that doesn't stop my soul And I think you should know you guys so we're about to do bible study it's me and janae we're gonna be reading uh philippians it's called yeah so we're gonna be reading philippians it's four chapters so we're about to get started i got my notebook here and let me get, and i got my good up pen i have on a bonnet that's why i'm not showing my face sorry y'all but open up your bibles we are reading the nlt version which you can get on your devices so yeah let's go Okay, yes, we're going to pray. Uh, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, as we gather here today to read your word, we ask that you guide us and provide us with the knowledge and discernment to interpret your word within your will. We ask that you cast away the devil and evil spirits and evil thoughts so that we are able to read your word as you have written it. Was 
wisdom. Ask for wisdom. Heavenly Father, once again, we ask that you give us wisdom. To <laughs> why are you laughing? All right, y'all, y'all ready? Greetings from Paul. This letter is from Paul and Timothy, the slaves of Christ Jesus. I am writing to all of God's holy people in Philippi who belong to Christ Jesus, including the church leaders and deacons. May our Father and the May God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Paul's thanksgiving and prayer. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Whenever I pray, I make requests for all of you joy. For you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard it until now. And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Mm. So it is right that I should feel as I do about all of you. For you have a special place in my heart. You share with me the special favor of God, both in my imprisonment and in defending and confirming the truth of the good news. God knows how much I love you and long for you with the tender compassion of Christ Jesus. I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. I like that. Your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge. For I want you to understand what really matters so that you will live pure and blameless lives until the day of Christ returns. For this will bring much glory and praise to God. What are the fruits of your salvation, Miss Sally? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Paul's life for Christ. For I fully expect and hope that I will never be ashamed, but that I will continue to be bold for Christ as I have been in the past. And I trust that my life will bring honor to Christ, whether I live or die. For to me, living means living for Christ, and dying is even better. Okay, hold on. I want to highlight that. That was a good one. Living. That was a good one. I feel like you need to go to the Bible project with this. Sometimes I just read it over. I'll read it over probably after. But it, it tells it like the Bible project tells it in like um I can't really explain it, but it's so good. They do one for every chapter. Every single one. They do a video for every single chapter on the app. It breaks down every chapter. Yeah, I'll probably read that after. Okay. y'all so it's a few later as y'all can see we did bible study so we read uh philippians we read chapters one through four but with you guys i only recorded chapter one and y'all saw i took notes i did my flashcards, all the things i finished luke so the only thing i have left to do is do my notes and my flashcards to finish up luke and then um, i'm gonna do start on genesis tomorrow but y'all let me tell y'all how slow i am because number one I was supposed to go to a massage today at 10 a.m. I missed my massage. I had used my, the rest of my credits on ClassPass to book me a massage, which was 33 credits, if I may mention. It was at 10 a.m. and I forgot I was in the gym. I was like 9.55. I'm like, wait, don't I got a massage today? I looked at my calendar and it was at 10 a.m. I was not going to make it. So I just let it go. But this is your sign that if you're using a calendar to please check your calendar as soon as you wake up. Well, of course, after you pray and stuff, because that's important to set the tone for your day. But um, yeah, so anyway, I missed that. Then right now it's like 5.08. I got an email from the Black College. Let me give y'all the right name. I don't want to give y'all. Black College Students of Nursing. I have a call with them at 6 o'clock, which is in a few minutes. Um, so I'm just all over the place. I'm forgetting things left and right. But um, anyway, I had made me some lunch before I went um, to the store just now. I went to Walgreens to get some Jet Black Dye. Yeah, I know Revlon is the best. So I got some Revlon dye. Um, and then I also got my wig delivered. I'm about to show you guys right now. It's a two by six closure because y'all know I'm on my weight loss journey and I am not about to, um, about to keep using the excuse of like, oh, my hair, my hair to stop me from my weight loss goals. So I feel like I had to do, find like another alternative. It's my first two by six wig. So I'm going to see how I like it. Um, I'm going to customize it and everything, but tonight actually, so I can install it tomorrow. Um, and this came at a perfect time. So, it's a 2x6, 34 inch HD lace wig. So, it's 
a 34 in jet black wig. Ain't it? Hold on. Look. It's full oh, yeah. to the end, as y'all can see. Look at the lace, y'all. She looks Yeah, this is it. I'm about to body this wig. I'm gonna dye it jet black. I'm gonna bleach the knots. Then tomorrow, this will be real really easy for me to install. All I'm gonna really do is just pluck it. Um I'm gonna pluck it. I'm gonna give myself a part and call it a day. But it is so full. Uh, dang. But soon enough, you guys, I will be selling my vendor. So you guys will be able to access this on your own. Some people, they like to like buy their wigs from AliExpress and stuff like that. And I don't knock that because when I was in college, I used to do the same thing. I was an AliExpress girl all the way. But honestly, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing like the quality um, wigs are going to cost. Like for me, I don't have to buy a $200 wig every month or two. Like when I was using AliExpress, I had to buy a new wig like every month or two it was no reusing it was no changing out the closure it was no changing the front tool because the hair quality would not last like this quality y'all it's fire it's fire this is it look how full it is i'm gonna give it a blunt cut when i style it tomorrow y'all gonna see because right after my workout i'm coming straight home to install this baby yeah i'm gonna make some content you know when your hair's done you just want your content <laughs> But anyway, y'all, so that's it. Um, I was going to try to go do it now before the call, but I don't even want to rush because it's 5'11", and that'll only give me like 30 minutes, and I will be rushing. I want to take my time and dye this wig. I don't want to half-ass it, but also, y'all, look at my flowers. I got a delivery today. My mom sent me some flowers. This was so sweet. It actually matches my set right now. So, yeah, that was so sweet. Another thing, y'all, just before I go, why do I feel like I've been losing weight? Because this Lululemon set that I wore to the airport in Columbia, it keeps falling down. Every two seconds, it's falling down. But I'm not complaining. That's a good thing. So, yeah, I'm about to um go change into, like, a little crop sweater because it's a Zoom call. So, they're only going to see me from, like, maybe, like, my breast up for the camera. Um, I'm going to go change into a sweater real quick. I'm going to set this wig up on the wig head, you know, um prepare my dye and everything so as soon as i get off the call i can immediately start on the wig but yeah. i'll speak to you guys later i'll see you guys after the event and yeah I'm to join. i always get super nervous before these engagements and i really don't even know why oh my gosh yeah i was not even muted i don't know what just happened y'all but the call just ended I think she was having some audio problems. So, yeah, let me figure this out and I'll be right back. Call to. Yes, I'm on the Hi, Jada. Work, but I'm the um, community service. Hi. I'm sorry. Uh, my head ain't right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, first, we just want to get started with the mission statement. Mm -hmm. This is what we do here. We just help mainly pre nursing students uh, when it comes to navigating through um, pre nursing, nursing school. Uh, the prereqs, T's, and everything like that. Um, our primary goal is to provide unity for those who need help, support, and motivation for academic success, and not only for nursing um, applicants, we're welcome to like, all healthcare professionals, but it's mostly um, pre nursing students. So, you want to say something? <laughs> okay, so right now we're planning an event. Um, hopefully, by the end of like March, we want to. Um, Go for it. We wanted to see how your schedule is looking like. Mm -hmm. What did you say the name was? Think, like Think like a nurse. Yes. Think like a nurse. At the end of March? We don't have a specific date yet because we wanted to see how your schedule looked like. Um, And that's the farthest that I have my schedule up until. Okay, yeah, that will work for me. Doesn't matter. Whatever y'all want. I'm fine with either one. First, we're going to see like what um rooms are available before that date. Before um, So, basically, what we've been thinking was... We want to have something really interactive and that will really get students to learn. All right, y'all. So I just got off of the call and honestly, 
<laughs> y'all i thought that it was going to be a tell me about your nursing experience as like a nurse and like your journey type of call but it was actually them just trying to set up an event so that was like a little confusion because for me i'm thinking like oh my gosh i gotta tell them about my whole nursing experience just like the other speaking engagement but it was really just them trying to set up an event for pre-nursing students kind of like a speaking engagement i remember when i was in nursing school it was something that I did a lot like we as a pre-nursing student we always used to have like nurses and other people like come in and like talk to us it's just so crazy that now I'm being considered for these type of events like that's crazy but um yeah so stay tuned for that vlog your girl is about to get her own place your girl is about to be flying in and out for speaking engagements your girl is about to just be what <laughs> who did it and why bother anyway y'all look at this wig oh dang I can't even remember anyway guys it's kind of dark so i can't even really show y'all but i'm about to body this wig i'm about to go dye it jet black and then i'm gonna go lay down just probably watch some power and chill look, 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 look. i'm about to just go watch some power and chill and um yeah i'm probably just gonna catch up with y'all in the morning because we got an early morning tomorrow's leg day we up early okay we're gonna be installing this wig i gotta go to trader joe's we got a few things that we gotta do tomorrow and i want to do a bubble bath kind of self-care night tomorrow so i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow good morning vlog we are back it's another day i am in the gym i'm about to have a really good workout and then right after this we are going to go to target because there's a few things that i want to get i want to um i want to get some stuff for the sleepy girl mocktail i don't know if you guys have been seeing that on tiktok but i want to get a few things for that and then i want to get this protein drink that janae had yesterday it's like a juice type of thing because i'm not really a big fan of like protein shakes or protein powders but she said this one tastes like straight juice it's like a berry flavor so we're gonna go get that as well i'm gonna do some laundry a face mask some teeth white you know we just gonna have a really good self-care night before i go into work but yeah we in the gym early also in the gym she's on the phone and yeah we're going to have a very good day so i'm about to do this workout real quick it's a leg day and then i am going to be back once i get to target a few minutes later all right y'all so i'm in target right now um so i got a few things already i did not record while i was in the gym because somebody else was in there and i feel like i didn't want to be all in their face our gym is very small so i just got a shaker bottle uh, i got the whey protein this is the one oh shoot somebody tell me I got this, the protein juice that we're gonna try later. I got some magnesium for the sleepy girl cocktail. I got a wine glass for the vibes tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep this, we'll see. But it was just something that I thought was cute. I got a soap and glory scrub and some bio oil. So I'm about to go try to find some uh, cranberry juice. All right, guys, I'm home from Target, so I'm just going to show you guys a few things that I got. So this is for my meal prep for breakfast. As you can see, it's my breakfast bowl. Sometimes I'm very lazy, and I don't feel like boiling eggs, doing the whole turkey bacon thing. So sometimes I love these. Um, I love to just get these. These are the Jimmy Dean Simple Scramble. It's like a meat lover bowl, which has 22 grams of protein, you guys, and like three grams of carbs. So I'm trying to like limit my carb intake to like one meal, which will be lunch for me. Because this will be breakfast, and I'll have a protein drink, and then I'll have uh, lunch. I also got my yogurt, which is something I like to eat for breakfast as well. And then I already have fruit from when I went to Whole Foods, so I'm going to make my fruit bowl. Um, I got some magnesium. I needed the capsules. For the Sleepy Girl cocktail, I already have cranberry juice in the fridge, and I have a poppy already. So, yeah, we're going to be making this tonight. I want to just do a bubble bath and a face mask. I got me some ice cream and cookies. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have this tonight, but I like to just have these just in case. It's like a, like a pleasure meal, you know what I'm saying? So, when I'm just laying in bed, chilling, maybe it's before 7 o'clock, and I just want something sweet, I'll have those. But this is not like an often time type of thing. I got my shaker bottle. This is going to be for my protein drink, which I'm going to have with breakfast this morning. I do have some ground chicken in the fridge, so I was going to make some tacos for lunch. I found this uh, snail mucin. So I seen this going viral on TikTok for a minute. The girls were saying that this is very good for like texture and like if you want glass skin. So I just wanted to get the mini. It was buy one, get one free. So I ended up getting two. 
We're gonna try this as well tonight. I got all my stuff to make big ziti. We got ricotta cheese, two ground chickens. We got the sauce. Oh, well, it's not big ziti. My bad, it's lasagna. Is that what I said? You know what I mean. Lasagna and I got the cheese. And for breakfast, I'm going to be making these zero net carbs um, breakfast wraps. So basically, I'm going to put some eggs, some turkey bacon, and maybe like a half of a hash brown mixed in it. And I'm going to use two wraps because, y'all, each wrap has seven grams of carbs. It has seven grams of carbs, seven grams of fiber, two grams of protein, and 1.5 grams of fat. These are only 25 calories. You cannot beat this. You cannot beat this. And like I said, I'm trying to just keep my carbs down to one meal. So it's because I actually love carbs. I need carbs. Like I need my energy. But this is actually something that's very good um, to have for breakfast because I like to keep my breakfast literally zero to no carbs. You know, so this is actually very good. And then when I have my lasagna or my tacos later, I will also use this for my tacos. And then the lasagna will be anything. You know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, this is everything that I got. I'm so obsessed with these. I can't wait to make some breakfast. So I'm going to go shower real quick. And then I'm going to make my protein drink with my breakfast. And then I'm going to come back and try it for y'all. All right, so BRB. Hey y'all, so I'm about to make the drink. So I have 10, I think I have like 12 ounces of water in here and I'm going to mix it with this powder. I hope it's good. Janae said it tastes like zero sugar juice. So I'm just hoping. Okay. One scoop. There's supposed to be 20 grams of protein. Honestly, I think I may want to put it in a, ooh, in a regular bot, in a regular cup. She did say it foams up, so I guess it's just finishing the foam. Um, while it does that and turns into juice, y'all, look at my breakfast wrap. Let me show y'all real quick. It's a little messy, but who cares? It has egg, turkey bacon, and avocado. Oh my god. I forgot to mention it has half browns in it too. That's good. I actually really enjoy making my own breakfast, y'all. You cannot find breakfast like this anywhere. Like, instead of me ordering bacon and cheese on a bagel, this is just so much better. Like, what? Turkey, bacon, egg, hash brown, and avocado in a wrap? Mm-hmm. We're going to see. Because this drink has 90 calories, 20 grams of protein, Two grams of carb, one gram of sugar. So it is a one gram sugar, low carb, zero fat protein drink. Oh, let's see. Mmm. Yeah, this is very good. Wow. Yeah, this is very good. I can't lie. This is this is something I could drink. Like, I'm sorry. The Premier Protein Birthday Cake flavor, like, I do like it. Don't get me wrong. It's very good, but sometimes I don't want that milky feeling, you know, of protein. I just don't want to take, I don't know, like, the Premier Protein, like I said, is very good. It's low sugar as well, but sometimes you just want something fruity, something juice-like, you know, because y'all know I don't drink juice. The most juice that I drink is probably, like, an orange juice for my breakfast here and there, but for the most part, this is actually very good. So I'm actually going to go eat breakfast. I'm going to save this after my breakfast. And this should honestly have me full because this is a lot of protein going on. I have two grams of protein in the tortilla. I used four eggs, which has a lot of protein on its own. Let's see. Let's do the math calculations. Four eggs have 24 grams of protein. So that's 24 plus 20. We are at 44. What about four turkey bacon? Four turkey bacon has 24 grams of protein. So we're at like 60 something grams of protein plus two grams for each tortilla. So what is that? 20, 44, that's 68 grams of protein, y'all, with the drink and the breakfast. Just with the drink and then the food. Again, right now, I'm just going to go lay down. I'm going to get up soon. Like, I'm not even going to lay down for long because I want to install my 2x6 wig. I want to get that done and out the way so that I can do a face mask, take my shower. Because I want to get in bed early. When I tell y'all early, like, I want to be in bed for real for real for the day by, like, 4 o'clock. Laundry done, meal prep done, all of that. So, I'm going to get up, do my wig, start making um, the lasagna that will be for my meal prep. And then, yeah. So, Anyway, y'all, breakfast done. I'm going to see y'all later after I do my hair. Well, and I know y'all want a wig install. Please do not mind this. I know y'all want a wig install. I'm letting y'all know it is coming very soon. Like I said on my TikTok live yesterday, 
I just want to make sure that that video has the best background. I really do not like the background in my uh, room, the other room right now. I don't like the wig addiction stuff. Like I just want to put up my luxury beauty room together and then I want to do more tutorials for you guys. Makeup tutorials, wig tutorials, everything from start to finish, you know. So I will be doing that for y'all very, 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 very soon. I just have to move into my new place to do it. But you guys will be getting that within the next two months for sure. Probably even before that because y'all know when I say soon, I mean soon. Anyway, I will see y'all later. Love y'all. night but i got real lazy y'all like i'm sorry this is the two by six wig though that i installed so let me tell you something i don't think i will ever order another two by six wig unless it's um going to be like wavy or curled so originally i had it straight and i was just not feeling it y'all like it just made my head not really look right like i just feel like some closures already like i was trying to steer away from them sorry y'all that's janae tapping her head um i was already trying to steer away from closures and i was trying to do like more of a frontal thing but as i'm on this weight loss journey i feel like it just makes it harder to keep up and be consistent with my workouts when i'm wearing like glued wigs so this two by six i feel like it makes it so much easier but for me i had to give it some volume because i don't have no baby hair you know but it is a very easy wig like all i did was spray it down with some ebon at first when i had to take it off it had the ebon glue on it all i had to do was literally wipe it with some alcohol it was very easy that's why i think the maintenance on these wigs are so good so i would recommend it but for me unless i know i'm going to be wearing it wavy or crimps i'm not getting another wig like i'm not so the only thing i'm gonna do is i just added curls real quick but probably on sunday my next day off i'm actually gonna take my time and layer it and do like some better bouncy curls right now this was just to test and see if i liked it better which i do so yeah y'all lasagna is done i was planning on having a whole night like a self-care night and taking another shower bubble bath all the things but y'all no, I'm sorry. I just, I need to go away now. <laughs> after I did my hair, after I did the cooking, I just got super tired and I just want to relax. And I already have my bowl of lasagna here. Probably gonna make some garlic bread real quick. Got me a good bowl of lasagna here, y'all. I'm going to tear it up while I'm watching Power. Mm-hmm. I did want to make the Sleepy Girl mocktail with y'all real quick. I got some cranberry juice. And I know some people put poppy. I'm probably gonna put a kombucha in it and probably use like two capsules of magnesium. So we're about to do that real quick. And that'll be the end y'all because I am tired. I gotta work in the morning and yeah, I just wanna lay down. If I didn't have to do my hair and make dinner, I feel like it would've been so much different, but since I had to do that, it's giving, uh-uh. Okay, cranberry juice, then we're gonna do all magnesium this is the i wanted the powder i saw a lot of people have the magnesium powder but these are tablets that have magnesium in it so it should do the same thing So this might be a fail. Let's see when I add the kombucha. I don't know. 
I feel like it's still not dissolving. Well, now it probably is, because at first it was just sitting at the top. It's cranberry juice, magnesium, and you can either put poppy, but I put my kombucha. Mm, it tastes really good. It tastes very good, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna see. I'm not gonna drink it all now because it's still very early, y'all. It's not even five o'clock yet. So, honestly, oh, you could definitely taste that pill, though. Let me ask some more. Yeah, so this is something I'm probably gonna drink real quick before I go to bed. We gonna call it a day. I wanted to show y'all my meal prep. Look at my food. So this is my lasagna. Turn the light on so y'all can see. This lasagna is looking bomb. Like what? Huh? See how bomb that looks? Giant nice word. Like what? Like, this looks so good. I'm sorry. Nobody can tell me nothing. But yeah, y'all. That is the end of my night. My day, actually. I'm about to actually go get started on this vlog. I have all my stuff uploaded. Um, I'm just gonna go read my Bible. Finish up some Bible study. Fold my laundry. And call it a day. And that'll be it. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Maybe in the next vlog, we'll do like a self-care night. Because I really need to do a mask. Because this pimple right here is taking me out like all the way so we need to get that situated which we will and yeah i'll speak to you guys in the next vlog i don't know how i'm gonna vlog next week because my schedule is like on off on off but if not i have a surprise for you guys coming next week i may be taking a little trip who knows but i keep you guys updated on that and yeah i will speak to you guys in the next vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see you in the next one love you